70s. That's where he goes with it. Ecuadorians out swinging. Ball, Teal Bunbury opens the account for the Revs for 2020. The Revs on the board first in just the 13th minute. Teal with a sweet strike. Ball in from Pania and Teal, perfect technique. Keeps his head down, times it, and just makes contact. He doesn't try and crush it. The curling ball from Pania, left unmarked. Teal Bunbury makes no mistake and finds the back of the net for the opening goal. Again, Pania available short. Outswinging ball from Bo. Headed on frame. That was Buxa. It's still alive. Good save by Diop. Lengthy runs. He's powerful. He can get him behind. He's going to challenge Dewan Jones every bit physically. Lower ball pretty full here. Full capacity, 61,000 plus here. Headed over the goal there. Uh, the Revs let one Joel Waterman get free in the box. Looks like Kyoto is in the wall. Is he not supposed to be able to do that? Tight air right into the wall. Wide it goes. Rogiard pops it up. It's loose in the area, covered by Turner with tight air bearing down on him. Short-handed on a Wednesday night against Saprisa. He's a big part of just the organization, even though he made one mistake that nearly cost them a, a goal. Good combination by the Revs. Here is Jones with wheels against Fanny. Still going. Jones shoots, close down. That calls to mind a memorable 80-yard uh, run uh, last year. Um, and he shot last time, too, from a tight end. Well, that's why he's in the lineup, because he can do that. He can stretch back lines. He has that pace. Now it's that finished product, that final ball. Can he cross it instead of shoot it there? Piet, as Montreal still has it. Romel Kyoto, Aruti runs right into Farrell, still has it, drives it towards the near post, but Turner was always in position to cover that. Did not allow him to shoot between his legs and shield Matt Turner from the ball. Well done, Andrew Farrell. Fourth corner now for the impact. Out swinging ball, headed across, and it is in. Kyoto buries it at the far post. I believe it was Fanny on the uh, flick on, and Montreal's leveled here in the 37th minute. He knows where he's going. Bends it in, and Waterman finds Kyoto with the flick. Left unmarked. DeLon caught sleeping, and they get punished. You felt it was coming. They kept coming. They had possession in the attacking half. And this is a result of that build-up play. But then not just booting it, figuring out a good place to play it. It gets deflected for a goal kick. And here he is, not diving in, being calm and composed, and making a great in intervention there to prevent uh, a cross in on goal. Uh, not the worst situation to be in. There's Zahibo winning it. Now Jones. Bo has sighted a goal, drives a long shot, forcing a save from Diop going to his right. Rev still on the attack. And the tackle strong, gets it to Dewan Jones, and then Gustavo Bo lashes one. It was knuckling. Diop did a good job of punching that wide, but it's a good start to the second half for the New England Revolution side. Bo will take this four man wall. Well, that spun just over. But you can tell that Gustavo Bo believes he can hit those. The whiteout. No, I made it fine. Oh, look at that. Teal with the steal. Has Bo. Teal still going. Slips it for the Argentinian. Oh, tried to go far post. Diop always alert to it. Dewan Jones to the inside on the dribble. You can see he's right footed. Square now for Buxo. Left footed drive. Well, it beat the keeper, but it was just outside that. That right hand post, his Buxa was facing the goal. Aparzia's old nickname, the Polish rifle. Pania finds Buxa, who just says, Let me try and get involved in this game. It's what you want out of a young center back. Waterman for Tider. Brogiard. Square ball. Oh, nearly sneak past Matt Turner. Brogiard gets on it, and look at the left. Uruti left unmarked and gets his left foot, tries to guide it near post, and right place, right time. Matt Turner getting himself, making himself big. It looks like he's clutching his knee. You can see Benia in that offside position. Hooked ball in. Oh, it's a good one. It's loose to Hebo. Yes! He loves Montreal. The Revs fans love Wolf Zahibo. And it's 2-1 New England.
Was there a goalkeeper interference? There's and the ball's that's, off his that's foot. That's a clean goal. That, there that, is, yeah, there is nothing about that. I can't see them overturning that. Ooh, goal. Offsides. Do you show offside? Well, that is uh, a, a difficult one for the refs to swallow. Bo couldn't get to the ball. Funny now. Here comes Montreal again. Aruti trying to cheap the keeper. Oh, my word. What a goal from the Argentinian. Flipping the script. The Revs thought they were up 2-1. Montreal has now taken the lead. Where Matt Turner is, and he tries the cheeky lob, and it comes off perfectly. Aruti's not going to beat you with pace. He's not going to beat you with quickness. But he, what he is going to beat you with is the, his creativeness. And that was fantastic. Now, this is what you want to see from the refs throughout the game. Here's by his delivery over the head of Dia. Ball off the post. Now, follow up shot is wide. Beck Buchanan had it on a plate. You feel for the youngster here. Brennan by getting down the line, putting in a fantastic cross to the back post. At least two minutes to play here at the Olympic Stadium. Bows. Long ball gets past the defender. Pania. What will he do here? Stabs it goalwards, but not enough. Pace behind that to get past Diop, and he will fall to cover and waste some more time. Goes in hard. Maybe an opportunity here. Miscommunication. But that is indeed the last attack, the end of the match. The Revs fall on opening day.